is still too much poverty out there and it's definitely something we cannot accept. The good news is actually poverty is a problem we can solve. I always felt that globalization is a very powerful transformational force, but the gains are very asymmetrically distributed. We felt there is a moral responsibility to share some of our gains with those that did not have that access. We invest into impact entrepreneurs in areas where people earn less than $3 a day. We are trying to solve the waste management problem, but the bigger problem is how do we integrate waste pickers and informal waste workers into the evolving circular economy supply chain. And therefore we create business models that integrate them and give them opportunities to aspire to be something more than a minimum wage worker. By supporting local entrepreneurs who want to solve local problems, we create opportunities, we create access for people to markets, to jobs, to income. And we do so using entrepreneurial models, which means we invest in organizations which are able to sustain themselves financially. I started Kwanzaa Tukule a couple of years ago. I realized how much people struggle to source for food, cook food, find food. I thought Maybe if we can make food affordable for food vendors, then more people can afford food. There is no uh, one-size-fits-all solution to poverty. For many pressing social issues, you need solutions that are deeply rooted in the communities. We look for entrepreneurs that are inspiring leaders and visionary thinkers that are extremely committed and driven to make a change. Our entrepreneurs see opportunities where others see problems. We all want to solve big global problems. It does take effort, it does take money. I like that Elea stay in there for the long haul and tap into their investees and help them work through the big problems that they have. Elea combines a very good understanding of financing growing a company within a, let's say, classic capitalistic system with a very clear agenda and motivation for using that world and the best what it has to create impact. And ILEA gives us the chance to really thrive on the idea of social entrepreneurship. Vimos esta famosa planta que es el Spam Humos. Nos enteramos que tiene mucho potencial, sobre todo que tuviera una demanda que fuera eh, sostenible en el mercado. An entrepreneur will be an entrepreneur for his lifetime and he thinks about impact, basically changing other people's life for his lifetime. So it's an impact that is sustainable and where you talk about decades and even about generations. We spend a lot of time with what we call impact value creation with our entrepreneurs to develop their organizations further and to reach a point where they grow further, where they are profitable and therefore can sustain themselves financially. I feel that a social entrepreneur is a tough job, too it's a lonely job. And with Elea I have found friends, partners and people who walk the talk with us and I'm deeply grateful. I perceive Elea not so much as an investor but more like a family. There is this very deep commitment to the mission of trying to solve uh, absolute poverty. Being very rooted in the values of joy and you know, love and respect. So it felt like our values really clicked. To me, it was like a perfect match. And I think that's one of the reasons why Ilya is, is shaping the future of impact investing and also how poverty is being fought. Our vision is that by 2030, uh, we will have touched uh, 100 million people living in poverty, which is about 5% of the current people living below $3 daily income.